The next section, uh, Symbolize and Solve Inequality, requires that we go back and do a little review and discussion about number lines and how you use number lines. So let me uh, just pretend like this was our number line that we're using. And this is point zero, one, two, three, four, five, and so forth. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. <coughs> now, you will often see because they will certainly test you, your knowledge on this. They would, may show you something like this. And ask you to interpret what that means. This indicates that the value of something is more than one. So let's say we're talking about X, whatever X is. X is greater than one. Why do I say that? Because the point zero here has an open circle, which means one is not counted. So it doesn't include one, so it's bigger than one. Let's say, in the alternative, you had this. That would say that, let's say we have another variable y. y is equal to one or less. So that would look like this. y is less than or equal to one. <coughs> because the, the one is a closed circle, it's a dot. So that means that point is counted and then it's going this way. So if you take those two principles, let's assume we had something like this. Let's say we had a third variable, z. This would say z is equal to zero but less than four, because four is not counted and it doesn't go past. So this would say Z is equal to or greater than zero, but less than four. Well, you can write it with the zero on this side too, however you want. So this says z is less than four, but greater than or equal to zero. So that's how you would interpret what this means. So of course, if you had others, you would write them other ways too. So you will get lots of questions that will ask you to identify which line segment corresponds to the question to see if you understand that a closed circle means it's included, where it stops means it ends, and if it's open there, you know four is not included. If it's closed, this will say x, where does this say? z is greater than or equal to zero, and less than or equal to four, if this was closed in. I will say z is less than or equal to 4 and is greater than or equal to 0. So it's in between these two points and the end points are both included. Now this says 
x is greater than 1, and this line tells us it's going on. So it could be any number that's bigger than 1. This says y is less than or equal to 1. So that means it could be anything going to the left. Because once it passes 0, any negative number is less than 1. 0 is less than 1. So any number that's negative would, would make this a true statement. So that's something you'll have to review, and there'll be some practice where you can uh, actually refresh yourself on that. So I'm going to pause this for, for right now.